Welcome back to Dopedia Tutorials. Today I'm gonna teach how to do Robo Ray from Fortnite. If you are new to this channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I'm gonna draw on my Wacom tablet, but you can follow my tutorials with any other media that you have, whether it's pencil color, sharpie, or crayon. Now first of all, I'm gonna draw the top of her head with an arch curve line across. Same is gonna turn downwards on the right corner. Curve line downwards and slightly turn it in to the left. I'm gonna do the same thing for the left side of her head right there. And at the inner corner of that shape, I'm gonna trace the outline along the edge. Like that. And at the ending point below, on the left, curve line across at that corner and curve line across on the right side turn it upwards diagonally on the right side at the outer corner and at the side of her head I'm going to draw a long oval shape at that corner and above that oval shape I'm going to draw a line upwards and slightly to the right curve line upwards same as the turn to the left Arch curve line across to the left, same is going to turn downwards on the left side of her head. Now for her eye, I'm going to draw in the middle point of her face a circular shape at that corner and another circular shape inside of that along the edge. At the side of that whole thing at the upper corner, I'm going to draw a line across on the left and on the right side. Turn it upwards on the left corner and I'm gonna do the same thing at the lower point right there turn it downwards on the left corner across to the right turn it back upwards on the right side below that I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape like that and inside of that rectangular shape I'm going to draw a square shape on the left corner, a rectangular shape downwards on the right side. Below her head, I'm going to draw her neck off center to the left, a line downwards, and another one on the right side. Curve line across at the lower point. At the ending point on both sides, curve line downwards and flare it out, turn it back inwards. Mirror that on the right side of her head. Curve line across at the ending point below. Below the head at the side of her neck, I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape at that corner. And inside of that, a line across at the lower point. Below that, a line downwards on both sides. Same as could turn diagonally to the right and downwards. Repeat that same set of line again on the left corner. And I'm gonna mirror the whole thing on the right side. At the lower point below, I'm gonna draw a line across from the left to the right. Turn it diagonally down on the left and right side. Repeat that same set of line again at this lower point. Turn it diagonally up at the side and outwards. Same as you could turn to the middle point. Inside of that shape, I'm going to trace the outline along the edge at that corner. And I'm going to repeat that same set of shape on the right side. At the outer corner of that, a short line downwards on both the left and right. Turn it tightly downwards and to the middle point. A line across at the ending point below. And from that corner, I'm going to draw a line upwards to the upper corner right there. And I'm going to do the same thing on the right side. In between the two lines, I'm going to draw three short lines across right there. At the side, I'm going to draw a line out to her shoulder on the left right there. 
turn it diagonally down to the left with a curve line. Same as you could turn downwards and turn it diagonally in at the lower point. At the outer corner of that whole thing at this upper point, I'm going to draw a small arch curve line right there. Trace the same diagonal curve line at the side of that shape. Same as you could turn downwards right there. Now for her shoulder pad, at the outer corner of that, from the top, I'm going to draw a curve line downwards. Same as you could turn to the left. Sharp turn diagonally across to the right and upwards. Below that shape, I'm going to draw a circular shape. Right there. And below that, at the outer corner, a line downwards. Turn it sideways to the right. And below that, at the outer corner, a line downwards and slightly to the left. And another similar line at the inner corner. I'm gonna copy the whole thing on the right side. At the lower point of her outfit, I'm going to draw in the middle point a line across. Turn it downwards on both sides and flare it slightly out. And below that, curve line across from the left corner to the right right there. Same as turn downwards at the side and same as turn to the middle point. I'm going to do the same thing on the right side right here. Above that, from the side, I'm going to flare it out with curve line on the left, turn it inwards, trace the same curve line at the upper corner to the middle point, and mirror that same set of curve line on the right side. I'm going to extend the line from the top downwards to the side right there. Below that whole thing, I'm going to draw in the middle point a line across, turn it downwards on both sides. And below that, the line across from the left to the right. Turn it downwards and flare it slightly out on both the left and right. At the side of that, a line out from the top point. Turn it diagonally down to the middle point. And above that, I'm going to draw two lines upwards diagonally to the right. At the ending point above those two lines, I'm going to draw a line across. Turn it diagonally up on both ending points to the right. Curve line across at the ending point above and a semi oval shape surrounding the ending point at that corner. Mirror the whole thing on the left side. At the inner corner of that shape, I'm going to draw a curve line across at that corner and mirror it on the right side. Below that whole thing, I'm going to draw in the middle point off center to the left, a line downwards, and another one on the right side. At the outer corner of that, I'm going to draw a small rectangular shape on the left corner right there and mirror it on the right side. In the middle of those two rectangular shape, I'm going to align across at that corner. Now from the left side of that whole thing, I'm going to draw a curve line downwards and flare it out. Turn it back inwards, curve line across to the right, same as turn up and turn it back inwards to the left. And below that, I'm going to draw a line downwards on the left corner, flare it out to the left. Mirror that same curve line on the right side. From the left ending point, I'm going to draw a U curve line across to the ending point on the right. Inside of that shape, I'm going to draw a curve line across at this upper point. And from the side of her waist, curve line out, semi could turn downwards, turn
turn it diagonally in to the middle point curve line across to the right mirror the same curve line on the right side right here from the side of that shape curve line downwards diagonally to the middle point and mirror that on the right side curve line across in the middle point below at the side of that shape at the upper corner I'm going to draw an arch curve line mirror that arch curve line at the lower point right there at the side of that ending point from the upper corner diagonal line downwards to the middle point same as the turn downwards in the middle slightly to the left and for the outer corner of the leg an arch curve line out from the ending point above turn it diagonally down to the left flare it slightly out to the left an arch curve line across from the left ending point to the right below that I'm going to her knee with a line downwards on the left corner turn it sideways to the right and on the right side right there I'm going to draw a line upwards from this lower point across to the right turn it downwards and I'm going to mirror the same shape from the left on the right side right here with a line across turn it upwards below the upper leg I'm going to draw a line downwards on the left corner right there across to the right turn it upwards now below that whole thing I'm going to draw her knee with an arch curve line right there curve line downwards on both sides you curve line to the right and turn it back upwards with a curve line on the right corner sideways to the right at that point curve line downwards at that corner and flare it slightly out an oval shape at the ending point below continue that line downwards below that oval shape across to the left arch curve line to the left right there and for the outer line of that leg at the side of the knee on the left curve line downwards and flare it slightly out Below that, for her foot, I'm going to draw a curve line across on the left corner right there. Same as could turn downwards on the right, across to the left and slightly downwards, sideways to the left. On the left side of that, a line upwards, arch curve line to the left, turn it downwards diagonally. Same as could turn to the right with a curve line. On the right side of that shape at the upper corner, align upwards, turn it diagonally up to the right. In between the ankle and the foot, I'm going to draw a diagonal line at that corner and another two more similar line on the right side of that. Below that on the right, a line downwards at that corner turn it sideways to the left on the right side of that curve line downwards from the back and flare it slightly out turn it to the left I'm gonna mirror the whole leg shape on the right side
Now for her left arm, I'm going to draw a curve line across on the ending point right there. Turn it downwards on both sides and flay it slightly out. Curve line across from the left ending point slightly upwards to the right. Inside of that shape, I'm going to draw some lines across at this upper corner and at the lower corner. Below that whole thing, continue the line of her arm downwards and flare it slightly out. A line across at the ending point below and another line across slightly above that. Below that, I'm going to draw a line downwards off center to the left and another one on the right. At the ending point below, from the right corner, diagonal curve line upwards to the left, semi turn downwards at the outer corner with a curve line to her wrist and at the inner corner semi turn downwards with a curve line to her wrist curve line across to the outer corner on the right on the right side of that shape I'm going to draw a short line to the right at the upper point turn it downwards and slightly to the left turn it sideways to the left Below that, a line downwards at the inner corner right there and another similar line downwards at the outer corner on the left. On her wrist, I'm going to draw a rectangular shape across at that corner. Below that, on the right corner, I'm going to draw a curved line downwards and another one on the left corner. A line across at the outer corner on the left, semi turn downwards it out and turn it back to the left sideways to the left curve line upwards at the outer corner to the ending point above now for her thumb on the right corner curve line outwards to the right same as could turn downwards and below that I'm gonna draw a small rectangular shape downwards right there and at the side of that rectangular shape on the left a line out turn it downwards Turn it sideways to the right, upwards at that corner. Mirror that same set of line on the right corner right here. And below that, I'm going to draw a small rectangle shape. And a line across below that. U curve line from the left ending point to the right side. Now for her finger, below her knuckle on the left side of that a line downwards and another line downwards on the left corner rectangular shape below that downwards at that corner and a curve line across below that a line downwards on the left ending point you curve line across to the right and turn it upwards repeat that same shape of the finger to the left right here and another one now for the right arm I'm gonna draw a curve line across at the ending point on the right right there a line downwards and flare it slightly out on both sides and curve line across at the lower point slightly above that a line across I'm gonna mirror the same shape of her arm on the right side On her lower arm, I'm going to draw two curve lines across at that corner. 
And that's all for our tutorial today. I hope you enjoy it and find my lessons helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Also, feel free to drop your requests, suggestions, or any other comments in the comment section below. See you next time.